Good afternoon. As we move towards the London Marathon, uh, people are upping their mileage and injury issues can start to occur. So we're going to have a look at shin splints today. So on this still here, I want to have a look at the green arrow and look at where the top point of the shorts are through the cycle and how far we drop off that. It's a bouncy runner, um, but what we want to look at is why and where the effect can be. In this case, what we're looking at is shin. So if you look at that green angle arrow, we can see the toes pointing behind us. When we look at the running on each stride, those toes are pointing away as the calf is working to push us off. Why is this a problem? It's a, an effect. The effect is, looking at the pink line, we end up with our toes in a really acute angle as we strike the ground. So our ankle movement is going from pointing our toes to really pulling the foot up. That works the shins really hard and can be fatiguing, leads to shin splint problems, particularly as we get into the longer runs. Interval sessions really help so that you're not running at the same speed the whole time while you're doing the training.